Hey guys, happy Vlogtober Day 14! <laughs> so we came to a larger Whole Foods today, um, the bigger Whole Foods. We've been here before, but um, the reason we came here today is there's a Trader Joe's across the street and we want to get um, some decorative pumpkins uh, to put out. So that's why we came here. My mom is in line getting coffee, but look what I ordered. They have more of an extensive selection. I got this, I've never seen this before. It's the Holy Holy Kombucha brand, Holy Yerbucha. <laughs> Pineapple Caipirinha Energizing uh, Tea. My mom tried the Prickly Pear Holy, Holy Kombucha recently, and I really liked it. Of all kombuchas, this brand seems to have a pretty low sugar content, but this energizing fizzy tea is a combination of black and green tea, and just has five grams of sugar, which isn't too bad for something like this. So I wanted to try it this morning instead of instead of coffee, I know. Um, I had a cup of coffee earlier this morning, and I normally get a second one when we come to Whole Foods. But I wanted to try something different. <laughs> Living on the edge. But yeah, this Whole Foods is like really big. The coffee bar is, this Whole Foods is like really big. And the coffee bar is all the way over there. My mom is waiting for her. I think she got a, I think she actually got a soy latte today or something. She said she got so. <laughs> But yeah, this one's nice. They have a nice bar. It's much more. <laughs> there she is! Hi everybody! Happy day! <laughs> Friends! It's Vlogtober day 14. I'm losing count. <laughs> wow, it's already 14. Yeah. Almost half way there. Yeah. Uh, I really did something different. First of all, I've got the large container. Well, they had uh, more stuff. A lot try. of, um, this is a uh, uh, but, but I think it has butternut squash and apple in it. And yeah, it looks like I've got nice. quinoa with chickpeas and red lentils. Mm -hmm. um, I love their falafel. Yeah, they have. And our Whole Foods other hasn't other been foods. having yeah. those. So, and then on the bottom is hash browns. Mm -hmm. And I also <laughs> don't yeah, ask me why, but I got this gigantic purple carrot. Mm -hmm. He's down under here. If you can see him, but he yeah, looks, that should he be looks good. Jazzy. It's kind of a veggie breakfast. Yeah, looks good. Oh, I'm excited no. to try my new kombucha drink. How's your soy oh, latte? I also got a soy Whoa. latte today. Wow, so just a little different Ooh. from the usual. Doing it. It's, really it's yeah, got a good knows foam. Yeah, we're going to be doing next. You could be. Up in the air. Well, ever since the last uh, time we went to Whole Foods before Canadian Thanksgiving and the barista ruined our sour, the coffee was sour, we've kind of <laughs> and less inclined. Ooh, they have a ginger snap cold brew. I wonder if that's, uh, oh, it looks like they sweeten it. I like cinnamon in my coffee. I don't know about ginger. Oh, I did something rogue though. They were out of, they didn't have enough, they only had one cup out by the water dispenser. Mm -hmm. And I'm one of those annoyingly independent people who doesn't like to ask for help. And I know where they keep the cups in places like this, right underneath the water thing in a cabinet. So I just got some, a fresh roll and put them out. I, I, I wonder if that annoys me. Take too long to ask somebody to come. I knew where they were. Well, that was good. I got oatmeal. But their coconut flake dispenser came out a little fast. <laughs> I just got, their steel cut oats are even made better. I know, it's like, <laughs> um, they're not as runny as the ones that we normally get. But I got steel cut oats, um, blackberries. These are green. Uh, garbanzo beans that are dry, green chickpeas that are like dry and roasted, cinnamon, coconut. Then this uh, granola I wanted to try. It's like I just got a tiny piece because I don't like a lot of granola. It's like flax seeds, sunflower seeds, and I think almonds. 
And I got a toasted pecan in there. How's your medley? Really good. Good. <clears throat> you it's saying? just nice to change it up once in a while. Yeah, a different get scenery. A routine. Let's try out the pineapple caipirinha. Hopefully it doesn't. One of these explode one time when I was in San Francisco. I was staying in this apartment. I stayed in San Francisco for a Put your napkin over it when you turn it. And this was years ago before kombucha was really trendy. It was I, it's one of the first times I ever had it and I didn't know that it was naturally effervescent and I saw it had all the stuff on the bottom. <laughs> shook the kombucha up and opened it and it sh Ooh. shot out like a geyser. Mm. Ooh. That is tangy. It's good. It's really vinegary. That's how I like them. Mmm. Here at Trader Joe's. Wow, they've got some interesting looking pumpkins out. These kind of silver ones are really neat. Cool. Happy fall, y'all. <laughs> These warty ones are really popular. The Verrucas. Verrucas pumpkins. They have a sample of that over there. You can try it. Oh, we're here. Over yeah, here, I here. would like to try that. Have some stuff to try. Ooh. Vegan cream cheese, though. Vegan yeah. Cream cheese is so bomb. Yeah, I'm, I'm vegan, so. You are? This is your pumpkin bagel. Yes. Let's have it a taste. Is so good. Mmm. I know, honestly, like, I, sometimes I cannot do dairy. Like, I'm not vegan. I'm actually, like, you know, kind of, like, in between. Borderline. I, I am, really am. It's, like, I love trying, like, new, like, I mean, if it's vegan, I'm, like, I'm going to try it. Now. Yeah. I think it's good, and I want to see what it's about. Uh-huh. I stopped eating, like, a lot of meat, and, like, I just go back. You know? It's, it's, it's like, pretty easy to go vegan, yeah. It's <laughs> pretty easy. I it know. really is. People make a big deal I out know, of it, but no, totally. Like, I, it's me, pretty I easy. I actually do, I have this music every morning. Like, I don't eat, like, don't have a lot of, like, cheese, I guess, is, like, the only thing. But I'm, like, damn, like, it's, like, just, like, the only thing. Yeah, that's... I don't even have, like, every day, so it's just, like, I don't want to, like, restrain myself either. Yeah, I know. So it's, like, the balance. Well, good for you. You'll get there. Thank you so much. I love this encouraging for sure. I love it. I need them. Thank you. Right? Thank you, ladies. Bye. She was nice. Pumpkin pancake. I'm not too into the, the fall. Well, I'm glad you tried it. Yeah. I don't you usually like flavored put coffees. Put your nose down in it and you get the strong. Ew, that doesn't taste, yeah. smell like it would taste good now. I didn't mean to splash you. <laughs> Do you think I'm doing okay by getting this? You're gonna get pea protein yeah. powder? Yeah, unsweetened. I'm sure it's good. It's only 12 bucks. That's pretty affordable. So I'll have this in a smoothie. Yeah, yeah. My mom's gonna get into making smoothies. You guys always ask me to go through the skincare in Trader Joe's, but our Trader Joe's don't really carry any skincare aside from some hand soap. So that's why I never really spend a lot of time in the skincare in here. Oh, I have. Yeah. And the so huh, I got this sweet little pumpkin with the curly Q tendril on it to put to put on my countertop for the rest of the well, October. I thought he was cute. He's only a dollar. <laughs> He's very cute and, and colorful. <laughs>
got a doggy water station here. That's cute. <laughs> He's so excited. Look, you can cool your dog off. That is a really nice little thing. Oh, hey guys, we're on a walk in kind of a different area. We wanted to go to this, we wanted to go to this little park over here, but, but it's doggy prohibited. So, little man says, eh, I'm just gonna lead the way. Oh, fire hydrant, fire hydrant. Come on, Ty, we're going this way. It's peaceful out. Tybee, mean, these are not your, they're not your yards. You can't go and play. <laughs> it may have some doggies though. Right, yeah. Huh? The mom noticed this car. Is that a Maserati you got? No, it's a, a uh, Porsche. Oh. Then that other thing is a, Hummer, I guess. People still have those. They don't seem very uh, gas efficient. <laughs> These skeletons are cute here. They put a little cat skeleton in the front. <laughs> it's kind of creepy. <laughs> they got a bucket of bones and a head back there. <laughs> Passing by this pretty I think it's Eastern European Orthodox Church, I'm not sure, but it looks like they're having a wedding. But it's really pretty with the palm trees out front. Boy, now I'm ready to cool off. Ooh -wee. <laughs> well, we're back. It was rather hot out there, but we had a nice walk. I looked on my phone, on my step counter, and we walked three miles. It's pretty that far. Was a great yeah. Walk. What a beautiful neighborhood. Yeah, it was nice. Tybee goes, I'm very grateful for the water station. <laughs> yeah, You're making a protein shake? Yeah, I'm gonna try my new pea. Your new pea protein? protein? Water. Cool. Um, You're doing that and what you putting uh, in it? Uh-huh. PB2 powder. Ooh. Um, almond milk. Uh -huh. And then I'm going to put some frozen strawberries. Oh, that'll be tasty. I hope so. We'll see. <laughs> How is it? It tastes really good. It's Ooh. nice and thick. Yeah. The only thing is it's not super cold. So I'm going to throw a few ice cubes in here now. Oh, okay. You Because um, you put in thawed strawberries? Yeah, and no... the strawberries had been in the fridge. Oh, okay. That's okay. Does I like it Does it taste peanut buttery? Yes. Do you want to taste? No, I'm good. You got unflavored pea protein powder from Trader yes. Joe's. And can you, does it taste chalky? No. All right. There is a little grittiness to it, but mm -hmm. I think that's from the peanut powder. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, see? Yeah, it looks good. Yep. First impression, Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's un, unflavored, unflavored pea protein. Not too bad. Yeah, I, I'm glad I got it. <laughs> because uh, I think we need more protein. Yeah, it helps with satiety. <laughs> Yeah, well, it helps me not want to eat so many cookies. <laughs> well, hey guys, what's up? I am obviously back and just finished up in the gym and took my shower. I mentioned, um, I think about a week ago in um, one of my vlogs that I am, well, today, <laughs> as of today, actually, I just finished up. At that time, I was close to finishing up Dr. Sam's uh, Flawless cleanser I had been using at nighttime uh, after removing my mascara and sunscreen with uh, a little bit of oil to break it up. I would subsequently get in the shower and wash the remainder off with, with her cleanser. I finished it up. It was wonderful. Um, and those of you out there um, who have been trying it out seem to enjoy it. Uh, but now that I'm done with that, I am going back to an old favorite, um, which I actually use this um, at my mom's a fair amount. I have a a bottle there that we share. She uses it as well. It's the CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser. Um, this is a favorite of mine. It is really gentle. They have uh, a foaming one and a non-foaming one. Uh, the foaming one, some people find a little bit more drying than the than the non-foaming one, but you know, to me, they're largely the same. I really always enjoyed these. These, along with the Neutrogena um, Hydrating uh, Cleansers, are also really good. 
Um, and the Eutrin, uh, Eutrin makes a wonderful cleanser as well. And I mean, there are tons of, there are tons of really great affordable drugstore cleansers out there. Um, this just happens to be, happens to be a fan, a favorite of mine and one I always go back to. Comment below on what your cleanser of choice is currently, what your favorite ones are. I really love CeraVe, obviously. Many of you do as well. So let me know in the comments, but I hope you enjoyed the vlogs. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, subscribe.